Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little pickups video showing some of the CDs and records I picked up recently, some for Christmas, some um, I bought myself um, because I did a video a while back showing the games I got for Christmas and then the television dude said um, he, he wanted me to show the records I got and CDs so here they are, I know it's a bit late but anyway never mind, um, so let's get started start off CDs Black Sabbath Live Evil that's a live album in case you haven't figured um, Dream Fitter Live Scenes from New York The Best of Bruce Dickinson this is his solo career from after he left Maiden until he rejoined it's actually got some that made and used um, let's bring the daughter to the slaughter which was originally one of his songs but then um, I think Steve Harris said oh that, that could uh, do well in the Iron Maiden record so it got used in there and it was their only number one hit single to date another album Alice Cooper The Last Temptation and Alice Cooper Trash Black Sabbath Sabbath Bloody Sabbath Black Veil Brides We Stitch These Wounds The Hold Steady A Positive Race Him, Dark Light, Halloween, Keeper of the Seven Keys, Part One. Um, this is the expanded edition, so re release. Dream Theater, Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. Iron Maiden, Killers Iron Maiden, Power Slave and Peace of Mind by Iron Maiden so yeah, as I've said before I'm a big fan of Iron Maiden they're my favourite band and now I only need two more studio albums and I'll have all of their studio albums but two I need are the two Blaze Bailey albums which aren't really the best but Oh well, I'll probably get them sometime in the future, Jess. So I've got the complete set. Jeff Hotel, Stormwatch. Bit of Led Zeppelin, Hours of the Holy. And Physical Graffiti. This one, uh, Lou Reed and Metallica's collaboration, um, it's called Lulu. Um, and what I would say is, don't buy this album. It's just like 90 minutes of an old man droning on and on. And it's got some nice riffs and stuff, but it's completely ruined by Lou Reed singing. So yeah, it's nothing like the Metallica albums that you've probably heard before. It's really encourage you to avoid this album at all costs and to something a little better or quite a lot better actually Leonard Skinner's, pronounced Leonard Skinner's and that's the name of the album, I'm not just saying how to pronounce it now a bit of Machine Head The Blackening The Burning Red Hello Life The More Things Change Supercharger and Unto the Locust that's their latest album 
I have um, the Lucas single on vinyl. But it's nice to have the full album. Man of War Battle Hymns. They recently re recorded this and they did a tour in conjunction with Metal Hammer where they were playing this album. Megadeth Countdown to Extinction, one of the best Megadeth albums I think. It's got Symphony of Destruction, that's one of my favourite Megadeth songs, and Sweating Bullet. Metallica and Justice for All. Metallica Kill em All. And Reload. So now I've got all of the Metallica studio albums. Um, I know some people say they've gone down you know, in uh, recent years. I kind of agree. Because now it's much more like commercial than like their flash albums but it's still good music I guess in contrast with their older stuff it's not that great but if it's by like any other band it'd probably be cool good so yeah it's nice to have a complete set Mushroom Head 13 What's yours, born Lizard of Oz? This uh, re recording. Um, so they redid the bass and drum parts on this, but they kept like the guitar because um, played by Randy Rhodes and the same singing, but it's a lot louder than the original as well. Ozzy Osbourne Scream. Also, um, recently I saw um, the documentary God Bless Ozzy Osbourne. It was on BBC a while back, and I highly recommend you check that out. Very interesting movie. I already knew some of it because I'd read his autobiography, even though he didn't actually write it himself from being dyslexic. But yes, yeah, really good um, documentary. It's got some footage from his Sabbath days and modern day stuff. And some of it's not quite what you'd expect from the Prince of Darkness. You know, he's got like always um, like pre-concert uh, routines and stuff like that. Don't seem very rock and roll, but I guess he's growing up a bit now. Stop doing drugs and stuff. So that's pretty good. Anyway, yeah, check it out. Uh, next up, Radiohead Amnesiac. Rush, Moving Pictures, considered one of their best albums, I think. It's got Tom Sawyer on, which is one of their best songs. Yeah, you can't beat a bit of Rush. Do you like some of their longer, progressive songs? Um, Slayer, Rain in Blood. That's obviously a very popular album. South of Heaven by Slayer. Sonic Youth, Dirty. And the last of the CDs I got this Smith's box set which has all of their studio albums. Um, their live album and their compilation album. So yeah, I don't need any more Smiths right now. Now onto the vinyl. Got um, recently been building up a little bit of a collection. It's not that big yet, but I'd like to get some more. Um, something about vinyl. I like. I think I like that. Obviously, they're bigger and you can see the artwork better. So you can like display them. So yeah, it's cool. Um, 
first up Dio Holy Diver it's one of my favourite albums I'm really glad to get it on vinyl I already had it on CD but yeah it's got some really cool artwork Rainbow, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow it's got some very good songs on it like Man on Silver Mountain Catch the Rainbow Temple of the King yeah they're all good songs and got some cool artwork, artwork as well Black Sabbath Volume 4 This is a great album too. Um, a bit different from some of um, Black Sabbath stuff. It's considered more more of an experimental album, but I still like it a lot. Wasp, Chainsaw Charlie, Murders in New Morgue. This a uh, single. It's got a pretty cool. Um, Gatefold design, and then there's like a 3D image, and you've got these glasses. Obviously, won't work with this camera, but yeah, and it's pretty cool to have that. So, if you look um, through those glasses, obviously, the pictures in 3D, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, and it's a good song as well. Rainbow Down to Earth, another great album. Anthrax, Armed and Dangerous, this is uh, EP, um, has a cover of God Save the Queen on by Sex Pistols, which is pretty cool, a couple of studio songs and some live songs, Alice Cooper, Goes to Hell, um, this is the sequel to Welcome to My Nightmare, it's a concept album. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, Ice Cube has been going for a long time. It's all been pretty good albums, I think. Yeah. Obviously, he's dabbled in quite diff a lot of different genres, but I've enjoyed all the stuff of his um, I've heard so far. And last but not least, Alice Cooper Constrictor. This is another great album. Like all my um, records I got. Yeah, it's got some good songs on like um He's Back, the Mind He's Back, the Man Behind the Mask. I think that was a um song that was in the soundtrack to Friday the thirteenth. So yeah, pretty pleased with all the stuff I got. Um be sure to tell me if you like any of those albums or whatever. Um, also, my friend wanted me to say that um, he really enjoys my videos and thinks they're the best reviews in the world and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll put up another video soon. Bye.